안 들어야 돼요? 하지만 안 들어. What's going on, all you lovely people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michael Hora, and this is a lovely penguin. Welcome back. Welcome to the waddle, my friends. Welcome, 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 guys. Woo! I'm like, I'm legitimately nervous for this one today. If we're gonna be honest, I'm actually nervous. You know, I not not only does this video immediately hit you with a warning of what's to come but you guys in the comments on my last video for sugar also were warning me about amygdala and how i needed to be mentally prepped and prepared for this thing and like i think i picked the wrong day to film this <laughs> I think I picked the wrong day, if we're being honest. I might not see it because I'm a little nervous, and obviously, you know, I'm filming right now, but uh, today is just one of those sad boy days, you know, where it's just you wake up just not feeling great about things, about life and whatnot, and uh, obviously I can put on a smile and look happy, but, like, yeah, if we're being honest, open and honest, like, today is just not a great day. No reason in particular why either, which is always a fun part of depression, but... Um, yeah yeah so so now that I'm, I'm i'm sitting here ready to film this thing i'm like i'm actually getting a bit nervous actually actually am however i know i know sugar's uh pretty pretty sick at what he does so i'm sure the song's gonna be good um but yeah now i guess it's gonna be a, a contest of will he cry or not <laughs> will i cry will i cry will i okay <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So this will be a, uh, this is going to be an interesting one, guys. This is going to be an interesting one. But, uh, before we get into this, guys, I just wanted to give you a heads up for those of you guys who are interested next weekend. I probably should have looked up the date, the 27th of May at, uh, oh, I didn't think about what time let's call it 11 AM PST. Uh, we'll, we'll probably start. <laughs> if we're being honest, I'm gonna start my stream at 11. Probably will start the the documentary at like 12 p.m. PST, uh, just because I have a I have a nasty habit of of chatting with all you fine folks. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do the uh, do a live reaction to uh, to Road to D Day. So if you are interested in watching that with me, I'd love for you to be there and hang out. I will give you guys this warning though: I can't stream it on YouTube because YouTube will get mad and they will they will give me a solid finger wagon at. And uh, that means yeah, that means the stream will not be on YouTube. So you have to go over to Twitch. I know, I know. It's a lot. It's a lot to do. And a lot of you guys don't have Twitch accounts. It's okay. You actually don't even need to have one to come over. My links are, are down below. Uh, also, it'll say my link at the very end of the video as well. Uh, it's the same thing as here. It's just a lovely penguin. So twitch.com slash, or sorry, twitch.tv slash a lovely penguin. But you can join us over there. You can also make a free account. It doesn't cost you anything. And uh, also, another little fun thing. Just a little, if you want to help me out a little bit, you can give me free money if you make a Twitch account and it has, uh, and you have an Amazon Prime account, you can connect the two. Also cost you zero dollars, but if you do, they give you one free sub to any channel that you'd like, which will cost you nothing. It's called a Prime sub because it's Amazon Prime. And uh, yeah, you can hit me with that if you want. It costs you nothing, and it'll give me an extra couple bucks in my pocket. <laughs> so just saying, just saying, it, it it's a, can work for all of us. <laughs> so that's that's gonna be the plan for next weekend. I will not be working, so that's why I'm gonna do it then. And I figure middle of the day might allow more people to show up. So hopefully you guys can be there. And if you can't, it sucks. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably I'll probably film it and make a video out of it too. So if uh, if you miss it, we'll it'll probably end up on Patreon. So you'll have to head over to Patreon. Okay. But yeah, in the meantime, let's get into amygdala. Let's get ready to cry. Let's not try not to have a mental breakdown. But who knows? 
because I don't. <laughs> also, in case uh, you are somebody who uh, is sensitive to these top topics, it does say very, very quickly here. I'm looking at the screen right now. It says uh, that the following content may contain suicide or self-harm topics. So if that's something you're uncomfortable with. I apologize, but this is going to be the time we're going to want to click away from the video uh, because this whole entire thing is going to be about that. So, yeah, let's uh, let's do it. Also, I don't know if it's going to put it on my channel, too, or not. So that's why I'm like, well, I'll give you a warning just in case as well. All right, let's go. Oh, also, one other reminder in case you are newer here. Uh, I like to watch videos once without the subtitle so I can actually see what's going on in the video, hear the song a little bit, get a feel for it. And then I like to watch it one more time with the subtitles on just so that I can actually understand the song a little bit better. So let's, uh, let's go. Big hoot. Nice simple set. Black stage. Interesting how it's a raised platform. Okay, sorry, there's just so much happening in this video right off the rip. It's just whew, jam-packed with a lot. I mean, obviously, it feels like this whole black room setup that they got going on is definitely the, like the dep depiction of being in a depressed state and uh, obvious self-harm is involved there. You know, you got the blade there. Uh, they keep playing over and over again that crash. So I'm wondering, because uh, that's not self-harm. That was an accident that happened. So I'm wondering how that connects in but i mean obviously he cut his eye which goes along with the other two uh songs as well so yeah because in in hagum there was the uh was it the police guy he was he the one with the the scratch on his eye with a mad king in uh Dechita. so interesting interesting sorry there's just a lot happening in this and i am very excited to see what he actually is saying yeah, there's a lot of very, very powerful, powerful imagery here. Uh, I understand why they put the um, the warning on it. Champion, 
돼버렸길 그래서 이 수만 고통은 날 위한 것일까 그놈부터 싫어는 날 죽이지 못하고 다시 겁나는 영 꽃을 피워내 oh, 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 oh. 최선들의 선택 Sorry. Side note. Besides the fact that this video, like, god damn, it is, it is just pulling, pulling emotions out, which is like crazy. Like, I know it probably sounds kind of silly because like I don't really understand exactly what he's saying. Like, I, I hear him saying amygdala in the in the chorus and stuff, but like, god, I could just feel the weight of whatever he's saying on my chest right now. Um, that's crazy. That's wild. Uh, it just shows the power of, of, of music, you know, of, like how it, you know, it crosses the divide of language sometimes, you know, and like, God damn, it's just, it's a great song. Like it's great, but it, God, it is, it, it is heavy. It is heavy, man. Um, also art direction wise. Those are, uh, that rains from sprinklers. <laughs> it's, uh, sorry. That's the thing that kind of stuck in my head. To be honest with you, it's the reason I pause. But, uh, yeah, they're using a sprinkler system for it. And then you can tell because the water droplets are big enough the camera can see it better. Because that's not typically how thick a raindrop is. But this video is nuts. <laughs> All right, we're going to watch it one more time with the uh, subtitles on now. We'll get to see what he's saying. <sighs> but yeah, man, that, that is a heavy song. Also, I'll say, too, it is kind of crazy. I never expected to hear a song, you know, where they're singing amygdala in it. You know, I used to study psychology, and, and you know, the amygdala is a, a pretty important part of the brain. And uh, <laughs> it's where a lot of neurotransmitters come through. And uh, it has a lot to do with depression because it, it, it releases dopamine into your body, you know. Um, hopefully I'm getting that right. I haven't been in college in like eight years. No, not eight years. Like seven or six. I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've been in school. <laughs> so I might not be remembering that correctly. But I know the amygdala does have a pretty important role in the human body so uh yeah let's hit it double check make sure the lyrics are up I'm a 
Sorry, I missed the line there. First, first half of the song, <sighs> man, talking about a lot of things that were out of control for him, you know, talking about life, things that happen and, you know, that, that helplessness. And I, I'm wondering about that whole, like the first choice, make the second choice, make the third choice part. I wonder exactly what he's talking about there. Like, is he, cause obviously it's like the song talks a good bit about self-harm and stuff. And I'm wondering if that's what those are that he's talking about, like taking your life and stuff. Um, Cause yeah, man, that's it. It sucks. But sometimes that feels like the first good choice. It's not, but sometimes it feels that way. Oh, he was in an accident, right? That's how he messed up his shoulder, right? I'm sorry, now I'm just reading this lyric. I got a call during work about dad's liver cancer. <sighs> Damn, man. His mom had heart surgery. His dad has liver cancer. He got in an accident. Oh, man. Sorry, I got a little fast there at the end. Bloom like a lotus flower once again. Okay. That save me, hurry up and get me out of here. Damn, that line hits freaking hard as hell. Oh, man. 
yeah, man. That song hits hard, dude. That song hits hard. That, that's, that's a tough one there. Um, but yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious to see what he'll be saying in the in the making of video here. Uh, but yeah, I get the warnings, man. I get the warnings. It's tough. That's really tough. <sighs> All right, here we go. Alright, <laughs> Also, in case you're wondering, those are sugar pills. <laughs> they're they're just sugar. They're just sugar. They're not like typically they're just sugar pills. You know, they don't actually do anything, but they look like pills. Uh, also, honestly, there's been times we've just used Smarties. So use what you can get. <laughs> but those look more like real pills. So they're probably sugar pills. I've run out of almonds. I'm gonna let them. I said the year to have to shoot. Tons of challenges in there. They need to go. Here's the summer. Alright, I was already wrong. My memory is not great. They need to go. I'm on the shopping go too. I'm on the one that's like young one. I'm gonna be a soft play go. What am I thinking about? Is that thinking about the hippocampus? I don't remember. I don't know. Like I said, it's been a long time since I was studying the brain. Yeah, dude, you really did. Uh, 
<laughs> Playing with himself. <laughs> Also, I uh, I will say this. I haven't actually had to use like a razor blade as a prop too often. So I'm wondering if uh, they just took a regular razor blade and just kind of like, you know, dulled it down by just rubbing it against like the concrete outside or like even against other pieces of metal just to kind of wear down the bla the edge of the blade so it's not like sharp. Um, or it could be plastic. I don't know. Very curious. Although it is interesting how they blur it out in the, uh, the behind the scenes. Am I gonna have to blur that out for my video? Well, you guys will know before I will. <laughs> that perspective trick. <laughs> <laughs> I will say the way that the camera spins during that part is pretty sick. It just adds to that like that extra effort feel. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> it's cold. Ah, they didn't heat the water. They didn't heat up the water a little bit. You need to miss a bit. <laughs> I can't help but hit shots. <laughs> There's 40 people in front of me, but I'm I'm lonely. It's getting into character. <laughs> Not exactly the vibe he's going for, but got a couple happy photos in. I'm going to lie. 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 어, 겨울 지나고 잘 걸었어. 춥네. 아무튼 참 I don't even remember what it's like having short hair anymore. It's crazy. 사실 뭐 지금 장면은 픽션입니다. 이런 이런 장면은 없고. 플래시백 들어왔으면 좋겠다 싶어요. 극적인 장면이 들어왔는데 요런 빌라에서 이제 수도사를 했었기 He's so sexy. That's a true homie right there. That's a true homie. I can tell the Kyumya. 
또 윤기영 앨범에 한 곡을 참여를 했으니 많은 사랑과 관심 부탁드립니다. 지금 빵이 됐냐? 파스타 아니야? 파스타야? 그럼 주세요 이거 도토리 귀엽네. 추가형의 앨범을 누구보다 응원합니다. 아미그달라 파이팅! 그거 좋습니다. 저는 그 사람들이 와서 도와주고 서로 도와주고 있는 것 같아요. 그래서 이거 must have been last winter, I guess. 네, 베드라도 20살이죠. So also his hair is long for the the tour right now, I believe. Which means he regrew it out. 그런 거 촬영 플래시백 또 맞으러 가야 돼. <laughs> anyway, see, there they are, the sprinklers. Told you. Ah, the the noisy energy. I'm watching the show. I'm just watching. I'm just watching. <laughs> that poor bike. Thank you. 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 잘나왔으면 좋겠습니다. I hope it comes out well too. Just kidding, it did come out well, you goose. Last little bit that I got for you here. I got a, I got a video from uh, the New York concert that he did. It looked like it was pretty good quality, so I'm like, you know what, let's give it a go. I didn't actually listen to it or anything because I was trying not to hear anything. Uh, but if it's absolutely terrible, we will swap it out for a better video. But here we go. This is him live in New York City. My old hometown. I miss it. All right, here we go. This is on the D-Day tour, by the way. Six set piece rises. The stage is rising. Let's see his hair's grown back out, like I said. Oh, dang. It's got the fires underneath. We're we filming this at a really good camera. Like, the audio doesn't sound terrible. The quality of the video is pretty good. I'll, I'll take it. Is he even live band there? It sounds like it. I don't see him.
Oh, there they are. <laughs> They're literally right in front of me, right, right there. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. I love when they bring in a live band. I don't know what just happened there. Maybe a little glitch in the camera. These sounds fantastic. You really hear him putting it in there. Is he gonna perk up or is that is that it? Is this how he ends the show? A little taste of behind the scenes over there. bombs all over gotta love it yeah man that was really well done that's really 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 good like i i understand now why everybody's like oh you gotta be careful and whatnot but i don't know i felt like it was just more of him finally getting to share a bit more of his own story you know as albeit not exactly happy as it could be it's just real. It's raw, you know? Um, and it sucks, man. It sucks because, like, you know, it's easy to understand those feelings that he has in the song and, and whatnot of, of just wanting to escape and run away and all that, you know? But, uh, yeah, I mean, the important the important thing at the end of it is that he overcame, you know? He overcame those those bits of trauma in his life and and that's what we're all kind of striving to do so uh good good on you sugar you know good on you man that's freaking dope but uh yeah that's a that's a really good song that's really really good very sad uh didn't cry which is nice uh i thought it was going to be a little bit more about like depression and whatnot and uh i don't know more to, like describing the way it feels and stuff and that probably would have ripped me apart to be honest so I like that it was a little more focused around his his own life and whatnot, uh, than than all the rest of it, you know. 
<laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know uh, um, what do you guys want to see next. Let me know if you're going to come to stream next Saturday. And uh, yeah, guys, I love you all. Stay aggressively positive, and we will catch you on the next one. All right? Love you. Bye. Mwah. I can throw my